I mean, on, 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 excuse me, on uh, Bourbon Street. I told him the first night we got in, go out and spend a couple hours on Bourbon Street because that'll be the last time you'll be out there and mm -hmm. it'll be too packed for time. So they've gone out during the day maybe to step out, but that was their night and it was great. They all did it together. Most of the guys were together in mass, which is what you always want at this time of the year. Right. Kid's personality comes through in a picture. It's amazing. <laughs> That's what I would say on that. Yeah. I like the refuse to lose shirt in the background. <laughs> Popeyes. No question it is Popeye's chicken. Look at him. I mean, you know what? Again, they're, they like to see him smiling, having fun together, hanging out together. That's what this is about. I mean, I'm, I truly believe the team that's having the most fun playing together, being in a battle together, fighting like crazy together, that's enjoying the environment, will be the team that advances. That is Bradley, my son, mm -hmm. who's going to be my shooting guard. He's 13. He's already committed. <laughs> Whoever plays his position has a problem. <laughs> this would have been, I guess, uh, Wednesday's practice. Yeah, we we uh, we went pretty good. I mean, we, we didn't go long. I mean, you know, it was an hour, or an hour or so, but we 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 got after. You know, and they were still, there's a lot of, of adrenaline. They're excited. And they were, you know, so their energy was high. Right. It was pretty good. You see, we're doing a defensive drill here. And they're all DeAndre Liggins and John Hood with his back to us and Perry Stevenson. They, they all got after it. It was a good, it was a good uh, one out. The John Wall dance. Look at him. People just walking by him laughing at him. Is that, is that part of the John Wall thing? Yeah, Alex? yeah. Okay. This is it. You know, that's what he does. He, but he's added the head to gear. He's not all. He just... <laughs> you knew when you got him that he was going to be a great player, but you did not know that he was going to be a phenomenon. Did you? I didn't know he had this kind of personality. And, uh, he has unbelievable leadership skills. He he is really an intelligent player. Uh, get the highest grade point average on the team, aside from basketball. Right. Uh, but he is really... Like he talks in huddles. If he sees something, he's not afraid to tell the guys. He doesn't he's he's really he is it's hit him like it did those other two. About the same thing. <laughs> National champions. Again, I mean the people that follow us, it's incredible. And yeah, that blue mist is everywhere. We've got a great team bus. Now, is it, do you guys own this? No, this is a bus that, that we lease, but it's a it's a very comfortable, spacious bus with ESPN, and, you know, tile floors and bucket. You know, those are lounge chairs. Right, right. So they're 13 lounge chairs. They all or 12 lounge chairs. They all get a lounge chair. Okay. You don't get a lounge chair. No, I go in the back. I'm in a, I'm in a couch jam behind the table. <laughs> I'll made you. Gray hair. <laughs> bags under my eyes. I've gained about eight pounds in the last month. I don't know why. I'm, I'm working out every day. I think I'm just eating too much. Teenagers. Pardon me? Teenagers. He's really gotten to wear bounce things off me, he'll ask me questions, he'll tell me things, let's do this, and he's getting comfortable knowing that I have a lot of faith in him, mm -hmm. and you can tell, you know, he'll come over and talk. How blessed have I been? Him, Tyreek, Derek, and, and other players. I mean, I've been blessed throughout my career, but the last three point cards have been pretty good. <laughs> so proud of him. He's coming out of the shell, smiling, uh, well-spoken, uh, more self-assured than I've seen. You know, early in the year, he just he was so unsure. You know, you got to encourage and hug him. But challenge, because they can't do what they want to do. 
They'd like to because it's easy. But in the same sense, you're juggling balls. They've got to know you care about them. You're not going to let them do stuff they're not supposed to do. In Eric's case, this kid is capable of doing whatever he chooses. And I believe when people say he's the second best point guard in the country, I believe that. I believe it. That picture. I, I, when I saw that, I was like, that is not the kid I sat next to in August. And he was he was fine, but he was... Yeah, you know, yeah. Earlier, the guys, you know, that kid, I'll tell you what, Daniel Wharton uh, is going to have opportunities at the end of the year to make choices. I think he's that good. And the greatest thing for him, he came in to be a starter. They didn't recruit. They came in, you're going to be the man. And all of a sudden, he's playing behind, and, he, and he's accepting it. Well, he still doesn't, hadn't hurt him. They still love him. People are looking and saying, this kid is as good as any other big man, and he is. It's really helped us. So I proud this is the last one. so proud of him and Ramon Bowen. Right. Perry and Ramon, starters on a team. He made a statement. I'd rather be a reserve on this team than a starter on an NIT team. That's why our team's good.